welcome back to my painting sessions. If you are lonely, not doing anything with your life and uh, YouTube, you're still giving the similar uh, unboxing videos and uh, reaction videos and you're sick and tired of it and you don't know what to do with life. Let's learn something and get some paint later on or you might want to repeat it later. But yeah, so over here, I'm going to explain you um, a Christmas inspired <laughs> painting. <clears throat> so I'm going to play with uh, these colors today. I got royal blue. I got midnight blue. I have a green, it could be a green, a brown. Brown usually is like a color for me. You never know color, you know? And uh, black, obviously. All right, so uh, I will use uh, three brush choices, small, medium, large. So this is, I think, too small. I think, let's keep it here. Small, medium, large. All right, now in terms of brush size, this is flathead number eight. Again, number varies uh, companies to companies. Um, this is a size 12, the biggest one you can find. Uh, not the biggest one, but like about an inch thicker. And this one is about half an inch. And obviously the smallest brush is up to your comfort level, how detailed you want your painting to be. Okay, <clears throat> so. First thing I'll do, I'll just take some blue with this big brush, the big boy. And then um, from the top here, I will just pull some blue strokes. I'll add some white to brighten it up a little. I'm using same big brush, I'm did not change my brush size. Okay. Vertical strokes up and down, up and down, up and down like a wiper. And uh, added some white in the middle. Why I did the white to brighten it up. After you do white, in the middle, I'm going to clean off my brush. All right, just give it a good cleaning, reach all the way at the bottom of the cup, and then make sure that it's clean. And then what I'm gonna do, I'll just take blue, no other color, and go blue on the sides. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down on the sides. Get good coverage. Again, if you really, if things really matter to you and you care how your painting will look from the sides, I usually paint it on the sides, the side edge right here. Okay, but that's optional. I'm just like, I, it really doesn't matter to me when I'm doing fun paintings. It matters to me if I want to sell it. But personally, I don't care. So what I'm gonna do after that, blue, I'm gonna take the darkest blue. Okay. So from the very extreme left hand side, I'll start applying dark blue. And one thing, make sure when you apply dark blue, be very firm how you apply pressure. I'm being very firm. In order to create a straight edge, I'm being very firm and very assertive how I move my hand. After that, we're going to take some more blue. Just dab with your brush 
I'm not doing anything special. I'm just playing around. covering most of, all of the white with dabbing you have to make sure you get all the white gone Take just the black. And dab some black at the bottom. You can extend a little bit on the top. All right, enough playing around with dabbing. We're gonna let the painting dry for five minutes um, and then we'll be back. So I gave it five minutes to just, um, I stalled too, so I took a break. <clears throat> so we're back. Uh, now, what I wanna do is, I wanna, I wanna create a building in this lighter blue area. So building would have windows and uh, how to create that uh, effect I'm going to show you now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one brush, like you know if you don't have a ruler, this is what I do. I'm going to use one brush as my straight line guide or ruler. And one brush, the flat head number eight or flat head half an inch thicker brush for my windows here we go so what i'm gonna do i'll take the regular blue on my flat head brush i make sure that this brush doesn't move as much and then i'm gonna create just a bunch of strokes coming down all right and then i'm gonna add a hit of dark blue Same time, one more layer, same action, move the thing, all right, and make sure you sort of wipe the paint that got on your brush handle that you're using as a ruler, all right, so I'm going to take more regular blue, and I'll repeat same thing on the opposite side. For the sake, I'm gonna add a darker blue shade there as well on top of the stroke. Okay. And then I'm gonna repeat same process a couple of more times. Alright guys, uh, so once you get all these strokes, they're vertical strokes with the flat head brush. I started from the left and uh, one on the right and then I fill in the middle. So I hope uh, when you saw the video it was pretty much clear. Uh, and then once you do the blue dashes, well, make sure you add one more coat of darker blue over it. All right, so I'm going to let this dry for five minutes and then we will add more elements to this. So we are back again and now I'm going to create some more details over this. Start with a 
horizontal line in the middle. Oh God. All the way, touch the, the dabs. And then I'm gonna dab from the base. Of that line, like where it's showing on the the building behind. And I'm gonna reach towards the top of the line. But as I'm dabbing towards the top, the amount of dabs on the so one side of the line will dissipate all the way to the top here. Volume to the Christmas tree. Wow. I just readjusted the dabs down there so I fudge details in. So the tree doesn't look floating in the air or something. Not overdo it. Once you get a decent size Christmas tree by dabbing it around the line that we created in the middle, you're gonna have to let it sit. Uh, I mean, only this part to harden up a little bit so we can add some decorations over it. Now, um, only thing I would suggest, meanwhile, you can darken up the sides more from the very left side. Yes, we did. So now we have to let it sit for another few minutes so we can add some light show over it and make a full uh, image of Rockefeller tree. All right, guys, we are back. And now it's time to decorate our tree. So I'm gonna use smallest brush for the details and just pure white. So it doesn't matter. All you gotta do is individually just create white dots. All right, so after a bunch of white dots, I'm gonna just mix some colors to the dots. So I have this fluorescent orange here. Uh, I'll use this. And I will use some red, all right. So after that, I'll take some red. place for your red dot to have its own place I'm not I'm not sure what I'm saying we can add some orange ones so orange one I'll take some orange with clean same little brush and this time I'll just layer orange on top of some of the white ones since it's a transparent uh, sort of nature of the paint it's not gonna show individually uh, just a, just the orange paint not gonna show individually on the black uh, ground so I'm layering white dots with orange all right after that we can do a third color I had a darker green here I think it won't pop as much so I'll use a little lighter shade so this is uh, emerald green yeah let's call it emerald green I'll take some of the emerald green 
and then place some green dots in the area anywhere you like okay so now we got the tree decorated I would do some like decorative elements in the uh, whole scene um, we would need a little star on the top of the tree so I would start with a white dot just swirl your brush a couple of times get a nice white circle and then just flick strokes up or outside of this dot like this like that. We get a little twinkle there and uh, we can add a couple of twinkles here and there, you know, just add a white dot, you know, anywhere you want to add a little twinkle. Alright, so after that I would add more, one more decorative element. element. Um, I would do a little Disney uh, magic dust trail around. Yeah, Disney Magic Trail, Dust Trail. I'll explain how. So from the star, you're gonna swirl out a stroke, come stop, and go give a little gap, start from another side, go all the way around, and then come back out. Yeah, and then you can have like a little trail of dust coming out of the path that is just revolving. So it's just little tiny dabs from the line or the stroke. But you go very vertically straight down. So you always borrow ideas from your surroundings, you know. That's why uh, Disney is such a epic thing happened to humanity that <clears throat> he not only just like you know he gave all the other artists like ideas and and um, like an envision of believing in yourself and have life as a playground and play with it. think if you're not doing anything with your life being bored try painting you know go to Michaels go to different stores and get yourself art supplies and like you know do something with your time trust me this is an antidote to depression and a lot of different things it doesn't matter what we are caught up is our validity you know in society but the, the main thing to fight the evil of depression is by doing something with your time. So if you don't cannot think of the best thing you could possibly think of, start painting. I'm not even lying to you. I'm just adding those vertical trail of dots from the line, guys. So I'm just going to come back to the tutorial itself. You know. Your tension about So I sort of start making dots and sort of leave a little drag after that. Like this, keep dotting it and then give it a little drag. That I figured out along how I was doing it. All right, so guys, this is a, a little Christmas treat from La Pitura Studio. Um, you know, if you, oh, I'm already messing it up. If you feel like you wanna gift the painting to somebody, you know, you can try it on your own, get some supplies from Michaels again. Michaels, why I promote Michaels? 
I think uh, because they have really good prices, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. And their stuff is pretty good. Yeah, too. and it's good quality. And um, I think uh, we should appreciate Michaels because I become a kid over there. You know, what can I get to do? D I I Y projects. You know. And all the staff are your friends now. Yeah, staff is my friend, you know. Uh, I know um, one location on 6th Avenue. So, yeah, uh, this is our little Christmas treat. I uh, hope you guys had a good time watching me painting. Or if you want to try yourself, I, I'm not going to lie. You should give it a shot. Um, you can always, if you don't like something, personally, I could totally understand it's an artistic journey. But you can paint white over it and start some other painting. You know, and uh, and but again, you should also have some balls to show your artwork, no matter what it is. You know, um, so yeah. Uh, hope you guys uh, have a wonderful holidays, and uh, I will show you more artwork as we go. Thank you. See you guys. Thank you very much.